Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to talk about the network days function. So network days is basically gives us the networking days between Monday and Friday based on the start date and end date we are specifying along with any holiday in between. So let's look at the data and see how we can apply it both in the back end in the script and as well as in the front end. So here we are in the data and here we have a table which is based on the invoice received and invoice paid and we will going to look at the uh, number of days that is between invoice received and invoice paid that is number of uh, working days all right so to do that what do we have uh, what we'll do is uh, uh, let's create uh, one table net work days and uh, in that we will do the load star star will going to load all of the columns which is uh, invoice id invoice received and invoice paid and we will apply the network days function start date is invr ec invoice received and uh, end date is invoice end so i'll just make sure that it is right column name so I and V paid P A I D and we will call it as invoice underscore paid days or whatever works fine work for you in case whatever business scenario you are handling. So after that we will give a reference table name which is uh, pay table and that's it so once we are done with this we don't need this table because we have already taken entire data in the using the star so we were going to drop this drop table pay table all right let's hit the save let's load the table close this come to analysis and within the table over here Let's add the dimension which is uh, invoice received first of all then adding a column in this selecting dimension which is uh, invoice paid and let's take another dimension which is invoice paid days. So here you have the between 28th of March to 28th of April how many working days that you have just 23 similarly between uh, 10th of December to 1st of Jan, how many number of working days you have, it's given over here. Now the same function you can apply it over here, but in the measure, which is uh, if I go into the expression editor, net work days, over here, you will say INV invoice received, INV invoice paid, and then click apply the same output you will going to get it over here as well so this way you can apply it on the back end as well as on the front end of this and uh, if let's say there is any holiday that also you can specify in the network days function so this right now what we will do is specify manually so you have invoice received and invoice paid after that comma and 28th of march 2012 so for that I will have to look at the over here 2020 and if we go back to 2012 March 28th so let's say 29 is a holiday so we will specify this um, 2903 right 2903 2012 i will hit save i will not hit load button because i'll just check in analysis the 23 days but anyways i have the dimension as well so ideally i should get 22 days now so 29 march is my holiday i will now load the data okay it is loaded in the analysis all right yes so it is taking an effect so based on uh, the holidays we have specified it has taken you have 22 days but when we did the front-end calculation uh, if you remember over here as a measure 
then the number of working days is 23 so it's showing us the clear difference now you don't have to manually specify it what you can do is create uh, a separate uh, spreadsheet and probably a spreadsheet is generally distributed in the companies or in the departments about the holidays that they are following in that case you can have the holiday here join it with the uh, with the table or ca concatenate it with the table based on on which particular days you have holidays and then specify that holiday date field over here which will going to take into account for all the calculations so that way you don't have to manually specify it but that's mainly i wanted to discuss about the network days function and i hope you will uh, be able to now use it properly wherever you need as either in the back end or in the front end and uh, get the desired logic achieved well that's pretty much it and then i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic